Video game bang, video game bang, video game bang. Mega brand. Live from the sack, it's the live, it's in fact I'm putting rhymes on this track to put my guys on the map Updates, geek news, tech talk and reviews They can summarize it so you ain't gotta breeze through Listen once and you're forever fans And I'm not saying it because their theme song features Mega Ram The ultimate source of all geek media Other podcasts, they just don't match up Need proof? You can check the archives and catch up Stats off the chain we have rearranged the game It'll never be the same Now it's time to feel the bang Thank you guys so much for coming to the Video Game Bang panel Clap it up for yourselves <laughs> You know, that was pretty good, you know uh, But we gotta clap it up even more Because we have a special guest joining the Video Game Bang crew And Andre the Black Nerd Meadows <laughs> Yeah oh, Yeah uh, Yes so, Andre, thanks for joining us, man. Thanks for having me. This is like second or third time I've done this with you Fifth, guys. Fifth, sixth, who knows, yeah, man. I'm Every time it's wonderful. I'm a punch card. I get a free ice cream after <laughs> So many. Oh, you didn't tell him? Oh. <laughs> you weren't supposed to tell David. I owe him a lot oh, of ice whoops. cream. Sorry. He, well, no, I'm a guest. That's why I get the ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> he thinks he's a guest, too. That's kind of the awkward thing. We keep uh, telling him he's a guest. But yeah. uh, Thank you guys for coming. Just a little bit about ourselves. You can start over here, David Webb. Uh, my name is David Webb. Been doing the show for five years. Uh, based here in Sacramento. And uh, I like video games. <laughs> All right. He meets the minimum criteria of being a host on this show, oh. by the way. Uh, Curtis. My name is uh, Curtis. I've been doing the show a year and a half now. Specialize more in comic book content, so I kind of help out with that side of things. But I do enjoy video games, mostly only Super Smash Brothers and NBA 2K, because I got kids and like three other channels that I help with. So, you know, only so much time in the day, uh, but uh, Wakanda forever. And you're welcome. <laughs> Corvin. Uh, I, I, so my name's Corey. I started this show. I've been doing it for six years, so I got David by one. Uh, I work in the esports industry most recently for Energy Esports, um, and then the San Francisco Shock, which uh, just won our championship. You guys could clap it up for that one, yeah. Uh, and then uh, most recently the Chicago Huntsman, which is uh, new for the Call of Duty League. So uh, that's me, Emma. I was not told enough to introduce myself. So you know that thing where like you have to introduce yourself in class and then you spend the entire time panicking about what you're gonna say. And I said you, what you were gonna say. And then you get to you and you don't know what to say. Oh, Hi, okay. my name's Emma, and that's where I'm gonna leave that because I'm gonna embarrass myself if I keep talking. Well, we'll talk her up for her. <laughs> Emma is a cosplay. You get me mad about something and then I'll get into it. Well, she's a cosplay extraordinaire, Twitch streamer, specialist. Uh, so basically, we all try and specialize in different things in the in the world of video games. Uh, Curtis here is like he does a lot of 2K stuff. Keeps it held down for our uh, King's Guard and stuff, and then our Smash guy, um, and then he plays Smash Brothers too. Uh, David is our. He, what are you? I'm the comedic relief. <laughs> <laughs> and no, that means you have to be funny. Yeah. Oh. Emma, what do you think about the uh, Black Widow trailer? I'm gonna kill you. And then uh, <laughs> that's what Emma brings to the show, guys. Yeah, that's just a lot of pure, unadulterated anger and hatred. <laughs> Which is great, because I think that's going to blend well with our friend Andre. Andre, how do you like Sacramento, man? How's it been treating you so far? Uh, it's been great. Uh, I, I'm not running a marathon, but apparently <laughs> that's going on. Yeah. So, yeah. I just want to. I just want to say, uh, Curtis, you you said Wakanda forever, which is which is which is very black of you. Yes. <laughs> but I, it is. I think he's saying I only play Super Smash Bros. Ultimate and NBA 2K is the more blacker thing. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's pretty hard. You're like that, that's a very much like yeah, man. I only play NBA 2K and Smash Ultimate. <laughs> Wakanda forever. <laughs> uh, and I wear a wave cap at night too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> in my, you play in your and I'm bald. Cap. So uh, yeah, so I'm Andre Blender Comedy is my YouTube channel and my Twitch channel at Black Nerd on Twitter, Instagram. I've been on uh, YouTube for 12 years, so I got my free ice cream and uh, <laughs> and yeah, and somehow I still do this. I don't know why. Oh, and I like video games. I just hardly ever play them. Unless they were made in like 1987. Hey, <laughs> the uh, you so you come to our city, and then it seems like every time you do the show, you get exponentially more popular. I don't know if you've noticed this, but I definitely did because last time you were on the show, I went to Regal Cinema and saw you on the big screen. Like, how did that happen? Yes, uh, I, I made a video for him, 
And I thought it was just going to be digital, and they were like, no, we're going to put this on the screen, too. And then I did a thing with, uh, with Disney Parks, thinking it was just going to be digital, and they're like, we're going to put this on the screen. So apparently if I make stuff that I don't know is going to be on the screen... It ends up on one. That, you know what? That's so. our problem. We keep making things <laughs> with the, the intention screen. of yeah. The, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And it's not. Yeah, so, don't okay. make things for the big screen. Make them for digital, and they just might end up on the big screen. That's the key. If you take one thing away from this panel, don't yeah. make things for the big this, screen. This podcast is actually a Fathom event right now. <laughs> <laughs> Which is why there's only 10 people watching. <laughs> Uh, so part of this uh, show that we like to do only when we go out to events is we acquired a large amount of swag from uh, San Diego Comic Cons uh, and people send us stuff for some reason and we don't want to have all that junk so we give it to the people who come to the shows and ask us questions. So, is that swag from 2016? Because the Suicide Squad bag. <laughs> <laughs> Suicide Squad was it like a 2016 film. I was I, like, who's gonna, or is who's that the new this? one? Are you, you got the hot new Suicide Squad? I, I, I trade that. It's the, the new one. The bag is the newest thing here. <laughs> <laughs> I moved right it now. out of the yeah. Batman v Superman bag. To put it in <laughs> Wouldn't that be amazing? Like, new Suicide Squad trailer premieres at Sacramento. <laughs> 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 it's a Batman. Take that, Brazil. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so, who wants to be the first one? All right, we got a question right here in the front row. You were first. Yeah, um, uh, I've uh, known of you guys for quite some time, and I noticed you guys, uh, your crew uh, changes from time to time. What's going on with that? I'll give you all of the drama. <laughs> Let's go. Let's get into it. I've been waiting to talk about this for a long time. No, uh, creative difference. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, Basically, I could save you a lot of time. There's a great documentary about uh, Hall and Oates. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. <laughs> Just watch that. I'm, I'm definitely the Oates of the situation. There's a Hall, and you put the rest together. Uh, no, but uh, it, it, a lot of the people who do the show are like are just we're, we're a huge group of friends. Everybody still talks to each other. We're still I could call up these guys. We're, there's no bad blood, and they actually have a really good show too called uh, Before You Log Off. So yep. uh, to give them a little shout out. They do good work too. So we're all just working hard, and it's not you know worth trying to hold a grudge and hold other people down. We're all creating content for Sacramento nerds, and that's a beautiful thing. It's beautiful. Who wants to follow that question? <laughs> well, what, what, did he get swag? Well, yeah. No, that was wow, a bad no, question. No, no, no. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was trying to start some This stuff. is started off. Look at this. We got a Transformers Prime Beast Hunters toy. Oh, awesome. There right you go. There. <laughs> Sat Gamers <laughs> Expo Edition. Exclusive. Exclusive. <laughs> All right, who was next? All right, Pat. That's you. You went there. <laughs> <laughs> Are you guys ever going to do a show with Laser Beam? Laser Beam? Yes. Who's Laser Beam? Oh, the guy who lives like in uh, Australia. Australia? Yeah. So he was, uh, we were affiliated with the Click Crew for a minute. And uh, no, he's not going to do the show. He's way too popular. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, I'm the best it? they can get. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we don't know how we pulled this off. <laughs> yeah. This is a blessing from God right here. I'm not going to lie. Set your bar a little lower. <laughs> I'm gonna, I like to chuck things, so you guys have to crowdsource. I'm not going to throw it at him. I might throw it to you, and you guys just make sure this gets to him, all right? And we got more too, so we got plenty. Of I think it's a water bottle. A water bottle. <laughs> that one is a water bottle that my wife brought home from a company thing. Why are you doing? Why are you like this? <laughs> <laughs> I said free stuff. I it thought was it was at least an aim water bottle, touch. like from Iron Man. Did she use but the no. water bottle? Look, I, I'm not gonna give this one out yet, but like I just reach in and I pull things out. Look, st stormtrooper. I mean, that could have been that. Well, that's you can't show that. After the water bottle. <laughs> <laughs> I feel the next guy's gonna get a stormtrooper thing. You just gave that dude a water bottle. He could have gotten Natalie Portman's Annihilation. <laughs> that's right. still better than a water bottle. No, it's not. <laughs> I can tell you 100. percent no This spoilers. is worse I haven't seen than a water yet. bottle. I haven't seen that yet. Don't spoil it. Okay. I'll spoil you it. The water bottle's better. <laughs> he can have this one too. You can get this name too. Now he gets a water bottle. <laughs> That's, now, that's a really dry movie. Water. You're going to need the water bottle for that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's how we do things on this show. All right. Oh, Who's man. next? He, uh, All right, right here. in the front. So, going back to actual video games. Yes, thank yes, you. Yes, thank you. <laughs> there it is. What's the most difficult video game you have played? Oh, see, I had oh. it until you said that I beat, because I gave up on Dark Souls. <laughs> yeah. 
Each one. Corey, did you ever beat that Lego game you were working on? That game was hard, first of all. <laughs> Second of all, I try and play games for fun, so I will take difficult games and I'll put them on the easiest difficulty just so I can get through it and then I don't you like You loser. Well, <laughs> I, have res- I have respect for people like Emma who like goes really crazy into every game that plays it on the hardest difficulty, like you do with Spider-Man. PlayStation 4? I, I don't know why you would have done that. That's not difficult, though. Yes, it was. I tried, for like, <laughs> I tried for like 30 seconds, died, and I was like, okay, too hard. Let's go to medium. So You're cute. I, I'm bad for this. Oh, Halo and Legendary. I beat that. Okay. Bam. Which one? All of them. Oh, good for you. Yeah, I'm because I'm a man of class. Anybody got theirs? I'm probably going to say Spider-Man. I hate you. It's probably <laughs> and you did play on medium or something, didn't you? I did play it uh, play on medium at first, and then when I played it again, I went up to... Because I like to play the game at least once through medium, just to enjoy it, not to, like, you know, kill myself. And then I'll go back and I'll play it on hard once I've, like, gotten through the story and I've enjoyed it. Then I'm like, okay, how how hard can I go and, and beat it? So I'm going to say Spider-Man on PS4. I will say uh, Street Fighter 2 uh, Championship Edition on, like, the highest difficulty. That was easily, like, the hardest. You get, to, like, like, Sagat is harder than M. Bison yeah. on that game. So if you get past him, you pretty much got a shot. And I, I beat it with uh, Ken and Ryu because them's my mains. What about you, Andre? Um, difficult to get through, but still beat. Yeah. Uh, God of War. The, the new one, it wasn't. I mean, it was. There were some difficult parts, but yeah, I'd say that. Sonic Forces was difficult to get through, but that was for a different reason. <laughs> <laughs> True. So, <laughs> yeah, uh, but yeah, and then so, and then no particular game is coming to mind, but a lot of the old NES titles. When you go back and play them again, I was like, oh, I beat so this hard. before. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, I didn't. I couldn't even do that one. The Aladdin one. Uh, yeah. The Super Nintendo. That was That's that game. I think my my hardest playthrough by far wasn't even like a difficulty thing. It was the achievement I was trying to get. I did a whole playthrough of Dishonored um, with no enemy ever seeing me or without killing anybody the entire game. Dang. So you have to play the entire game without being spotted. It's a nightmare. Wow. Dang. Good. All right. For this guy, uh, it's a hodgepodge of stuff. See, uh, now I'm trying to make quality a little bit more of a priority because I guess you guys like that. <laughs> so uh, a play pack Avengers, uh, Pac-Man Band-Aids, and a wooden collectible thing. Yeah. This was this is the quality one. Yeah, it's the quality one. You could have got Annihilation yeah. with Natalie Portman. Like, yeah. hey, hey. Like or a water bottle. Get rid of the garage sale. <laughs> the Sizzler starter pack was a lot better than Annihilation <laughs> with the water bottle, okay? But he still has the Stormtrooper he yeah, hasn't given out. That's true. <laughs> the Stormtrooper, that's for the quality question, I guess. <laughs> you, you said earlier that you, the video game thing kind of came together because you all are big group friends. Does that apply to the four of you right now? Absolutely not. <laughs> no, absolutely not. We hate each other. No, it's always, yeah, you can't do something like this because obviously we're not at the, uh, like, level where we get paid for anything that we do. No. So it's a lot of uh, labor of love. It's yeah. just uh, based on mutual respect, hard work from these people, and you you know, you know, have to spend your free time with them. You gotta kinda like them, I, I hope. <laughs> <laughs> this is true, facts. I know Emma has very strong, you wanna talk about this one? I know you love talking about how great of friends we are. <laughs> I appreciate you. That's, I thought she was gonna say, I hate you. you. Yeah, wow. incredible. Oh, yeah. oh my God. God. That is the nicest <laughs> thing Emma has said to any of us on this show. That's so. not a troll, guys. Like, go listen. <laughs> <laughs> She's mean. Run back I'm the episode. I'm in a Christmas sweater. I'm in a festive spirit. Andre, you, you do a lot one. of work with a lot of different people. How do you, what's the difference between working with No, I was going to say that I appreciate you as like the business version of let's just keep our friendship in that name. Or my last email. Don't out me like this. Let him have it. Okay, okay, fine. Uh, what, what, were you, what was your question? Though? But like for you, the people you work with, you have to like them all the time or is there situations up there where you... Yeah, no, I think, yeah, most, I mean, that's the thing. When you're freelance, you want to work with, and you're doing your own thing, yeah, you always want to work with people that you enjoy working with. Like, you're not being forced to work with anyone specific that you don't want to as far as your job. So, no, and also there's just a lot of cool people in this circle. Yeah, there's always going to be someone every once in a while, but everyone's usually pretty chill. Yeah. 
All right, that was a good question, man. All right, so I'm going deep into the bag on this one. We're going as far down. Let's give me another water bottle. Like, <laughs> <no>. <laughs> oh, oh, hey, it. hey, we're looking at some some uh, headphones from Freebirds, the, the restaurant. Hey, you know, <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> oh, the, the animated <laughs> movie. <laughs> it looks like you're getting the same water bottle that the other guy got. Hold on, hold on, but. I can't, I can't do them that way. In the right light, though, it kind of looks like a B for beats, so just <laughs> angle it. That's an E fine. for eats. Yeah. That's an E for eats. <laughs> eats headphones. Eats headphones. <laughs> a couple TwitchCon Bud Light koozies. There you go. There we All go, right. man. To All keep right. your cold right. beer warm. Like this, I, the bag chooses. <laughs> we obviously has, don't he, really he like our fans, us. so he, there he we go. You don't trust the aim. The bag it was the koozies uses. I was gonna be worried about making. It. Don't forget the water bottle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't forget the water bottle. Stay hydrated. Stay hydrated. Yeah. Drink water. Stay thirsty, my friends. It's a con exclusive right there. Sell it on eBay. You will not get that at any other convention ever. <laughs> nope. It's true. Well, maybe. I mean, depends if he goes to the same convention as Corey's wife. There's actually like. <laughs> I, I can. I, I'll be honest. There's an item in here mm -hmm. that is worth over a hundred dollars. Promise you. It's a, it's a water bottle. <laughs> that's, that's the one you're taking home. Yeah, well, we all who know. knows? I, all right, we got a question up here in the front. So, what's like a video game or like a piece of media that you guys get into for like spirit Christmas? Oh, so is there like special things you play when Christmas comes around? Hmm. Because like I, I just watched Home Alone. That's the thing you do like around Christmas time, right? I have so many Halloween games. I don't think I have a Christmas game. There is a Home Alone game, and yeah, that's a Christmas game. Yeah, it's really game. hard, too. Hmm. Are there Christmas? I mean, I know there's Christmas games, but are there Christmas games? No, I, I look forward to Christmas updates, though. Like, Overwatch yeah. will have the Halloween. Uh, I mean, right. uh, Overwatch yeah. Yeah. usually has, like, a holiday thing in it. NBA not. 2K, the My Park just changed. There's snow now, and there's a Christmas tree. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but the game glitches now and won't load, right? This is true. Yeah. This is true. Is there snow on the court? Accurate. Huh? Is there snow on the court? Nah, bro, because I'm hot. You feel me? I've been uh, dropping them. <laughs> I had to. Low hanging fruit is the sweetest fruit sometimes, my friends. <laughs> Nightmare Before Christmas carries me from Halloween to New Year's. There you go. That's a good one. It's fair. Oh, because it's Halloween and Christmas. Yes. Two and one. Yeah, Boom. Exactly. Done. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know about any games. Usually, Christmas for me is finally being able to play the games I bought. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever game I bought recently that I'm like, I want to play this, that's like, the, that, like Christmas to New Year's time. I was like, uh, what was the Middle Earth? Uh, oh, yeah. Battle of oh, yeah. Mordor? Yeah, yeah like I, I was Mordor? gone for a week for playing that game, and then as soon as like January 2nd, I never went back to it ever again. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, we had such a good time. Oh, winter loving. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, and then Gremlins, not Home Alone. Come on. Hey! Oh, hey. Oh, oh, Gremlins. Hot take, hot take. Hot I've take. never seen Gremlins. <laughs> All right, I'm done. Off the top of the chat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so for this guy, we got, uh, this is actually kind of cool, man. I've done worse. 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 There... This is Bobble Buds. Have you right. done worse? Street Fighter. Street Fighter 4, Chun-Li. All right. Okay. And then, uh, I don't know, this thing, it's got a, you know. It's like... <laughs> <laughs> and here's a tiara from a small child's <laughs> playset. This is really, this is a good one. This is the best one. That's sure. so far. Yeah. <laughs> okay, the one I said that was over $100, it was a tiara. It was a tiara. <laughs> That's real gold. Cool. Authentic right, plastic. Blue. Oh. oh, I'm going first. That's okay. easy. Streets of Rage 2. Go. Wait, 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 wait. Soundtrack, yep. though. Mm -hmm. but soundtrack that, you mean, score. Wouldn't that be score? No, uh, no. Uh, OST, bump, original soundtrack. So you bump that stuff driving around? Just oh, are you kidding me? Absolutely. Okay, okay. All right. Yeah, that's one of, the, one of the rawest ever. Yeah. Emma? Oh, mine might be Life is Strange. Uh, I'm into the indie shit, yep. <laughs> and uh, the Death Stranding soundtrack. Oh I my god, you in this me, game! But it's so good. There's a lot no. of really good music. If on you it. have to say it's that good so many times, because he hates it. <laughs> he hates it. But the Death Stranding. I've been listening to that pretty consistently. The new Death Stranding. It has soundtrack. real music. It does. Okay. It does have real music. Probably has like Nickelback. Say <laughs> 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 low. Maybe the Horizon did a new song for it. That, that's a quality band. That means Thank nothing. you. That is a quality band. He gets it. Yep. Uh, soundtracks, man. It got to be uh, Tony Hawk, Pro Skater. <laughs> Any oh, of them? Yeah. Pretty yeah. much. Easy, easy clap. Yep. David. 
I don't know. I don't think there's a soundtrack that I'll like listen to like repeatedly. The only video game related song that I probably listen to on a regular basis is uh, KDA Pop Stars. I'm gonna count that. It's not in a game, but it's a gaming based band, mm-hmm. so it counts. All right. I also have the microphone. Well, there's also so no counts. rules here, so you could just say whatever you want. I think it's not. I could just lie, huh? Yeah, you could. could. He's right in front of you. Streets of Rage. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good choice. Thank you. We share a birthday. You're allowed to do that. That's right. Yeah, Andre, any soundtracks stick out to you? Follow me. <laughs> Set me free. Uh, 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 I mean, this is kind of a cheat, but Smash Brothers Ultimate, just because it's got basically every song from, from every soundtrack in it. That's almost. Uh, and according to my Spotify, apparently I really love the DuckTales soundtrack. <laughs> that was like one of my top songs of the year. Everybody knows Are it, you though. Okay? No, I love it. And it's not just the moon. I'm talking about like the Transylvania for the remastered with the dubstep in it. That's a good one. <laughs> You're like the new Rozel. Yeah. That's right. It's a deep cut. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So uh, this this is a good one, guys. I right. swear to you, okay. this one is actually. It ceases to lose its meaning. This one is actually really good. In fact, I'm opening this other bag to pull something out of that one too. I have bags and bags and bags, guys. This one is a. Uh, we got a East Surge uh, lanyard. What's East Surge? What's East Surge? <laughs> East Surge is a game. You, it, it's actually my second favorite soundtrack. Is East Surge. Yeah. A lot of stuff so in there good. from uh, the synopsis Lil of the Yachty. Game. Good stuff. Oh, and then we have uh, Star Wars Play Pack. With oh, crayons. It, with crayons. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And a hat for Relics of God. Right. Okay. My third favorite soundtrack. So <laughs> I'm just waiting for you to pull out swag from something that doesn't exist anymore. Like. Here's a Pets.com plushie. <laughs> Here's a, uh, a Friendster bag. Friends. Penguin codes. Come, come play Penguin in right. Two Town Online. Okay, I got a confession for everybody in here. Uh, I've been saying these have been great prizes. Okay, I can know they're a little medium. All right. <laughs> but yeah, give me any, you know, any uh, America Online discs in there. <laughs> no, but <laughs> Netscape. <laughs> Netscape. No, but Net there's, zero. A, there's an AOL. I have disc a couple more here. of these business bottles though. <laughs> These business bottles. Well, that's These great. Business bottles. Did they, did they go out of business? Is that <laughs> what's the company? BBC. BBC. Anybody heard of them? I don't know. Like, like the. Like the, 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 the is it? Is it? I don't know. My wife just brings things home, guys. I don't know what. I, just, I don't think you know what your wife does for business. I don't. I don't. <laughs> She it's like leaves at seven, thing. she comes back at five. Yeah. That's all I know. She doesn't don't know ask what questions. I do. <laughs> she doesn't know what I do here, so I don't know what she does over there. It's a real Mr. Mr. Quite the marriage right here. Yep. Yeah. Don't ask, don't yeah. tell. Yeah. Exactly. Green jacket. Uh, what is your least favorite game? Least Ooh, favorite Superman game. Superman 64. Well, that's everybody's least favorite. Yeah, that's for real. Sure. Good call. Um, ooh, least favorite game. Oh, that's uh, I'm on the spot here. Come back to me. All right, uh, Death Stranding, 150 <laughs> percent. Oh, 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 Lord, this game is so has bad. Has never played it a second in his life. Has no idea what it is. I've watched enough of you playing it to <laughs> know that it's garbage. Okay, I've watched enough of uh, PewDiePie play it that I know it's nice. <laughs> but no it's idea. so bad. No idea. Okay. You don't understand. Defend this game, though. You think it's like Game of the Year. We've had this conversation, but the, all right? We haven't, and I want now we have a live audience to tell okay. you how wrong you are. Here's the thing. It's not for everybody. Death Stranding if you is... Have... It, has anybody in here played it? Ah, you guys. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. Here. He gets it. Give him, can you give him a bottle for... <laughs> <laughs> for playing <laughs> Death Stranding? At this point. I, would have, I would have paid money to hear him go, oh, I played it. That game's awful. <laughs> so I'm returning yeah, it's it. It's one of those, like, it's not for everybody, and if it's not your kind of game, you're gonna have a really bad time with it but if you're like into that i have no idea what's going on but this is kind of intriguing i want to see where this goes i've spent 60 hours in this and i'm halfway through like if you're into that kind of a thing you're gonna have a good time she talks about this Your game when I said 60 right here, right here. <laughs> get this man a water bottle i have a little bit of an idea what's going on <laughs> She tries to defend and talk about this crappy game like my mom talks about my stepdad. Like, it's just, <laughs> like we all so what know. What you're telling me is you never gave him a chance. We all know. <laughs> we all know he's bad 
for the family, but she just keeps saying stuff. <laughs> it's so good. Woo! It's wow. so good. I love it. All right. You just don't get My it. least favorite. Yeah, you just don't understand. My least favorite game of all time is probably Dark Souls. Okay. I, I hate it. I hate it so much. I, I, I want to die every time I have to play it, and I, I, I want nothing to do with it. It's just... It's just hard for the sake of being hard, and I don't enjoy it. I'm not having a good time. I want to kill myself every second I'm playing it. I don't want it. Okay. Andre. Um, I made a joke about Sonic Forces earlier. That was actually wrong. I meant Sonic Boom Runs and Lyrics. Same difference. Sonic <laughs> no. Uh, uh, Baby's Kids on Super Nintendo. <laughs> hey! It's not just really bad. It's just really hard and slow. and. <laughs> And I like, I don't know. I, just, we don't die, we multiply. Just, the movie's so good, and the game doesn't feel like it's the movie. The movie's good, though. Watch the movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. <laughs> and Superman 64, I agreed. Thank you. He's right, it's another water bottle. It is another water That's only one thing, though. This one's going to get better. So we got the water bottle. <laughs> this also came from the same conference. No, no, this came from Relics of God. It holds a. Uh, what, like a, like a, an old iPhone that doesn't exist anymore? It holds, up. It holds like Loses. an iPhone 8. I think. It holds an iPad, iPod from like, <laughs> with a when click it, wheel. This rune scape bag and the Stormtrooper came up. So look at that. Some of oh, hey. told you. Made up nice. Honesty is the best policy. The, the, the level of price will go up. All right. Uh, Vault Hunter. You got it. You can't put down the door. I have to. I have okay. to. Yeah. But I feel like we took it as the thing. Otherwise, uh, what game would you guys like to be stuck in? And you guys can't oh. something else that went else already exists. Oh, wait a minute. Stuck in? Like being like in their world? Living like in their world? Like a Jumanji oh. situation. Oh. Forget Jumanji? I'm all, I got Oh, oh wait, Jumanji rules? You're stuck there, yeah. Okay, Halo. Halo? No, why? no, this is why. You're this in the middle of a war. No, no, listen, listen. You're not a fighter, David. Jumanji rules. <laughs> I will be a fighter when I'm in the game. Yes. Oh. So you need to be Master Chief. That's, that's why I specified. Yes, I can. But you, From now on, that's my name on the show. But that Master heavy Chief. suit, no, like, that, that can't be comfortable. There's only one way to find out. Right. <laughs> you just want to be eight feet tall. That too. Yeah. <laughs> Kurt. Uh, Jet Grind Radio. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. fantastical. I know, hey, which is weird coming from a skateboarder, because, you know, you always fruit booters, and you always talk bad about, you know, yeah, yeah. Uh, the roller skates. But I actually, I, I was a, I was a rollerblader, too. So And, the, the, and I, I, I used to do street art, not vandalism, street art. And, uh... <laughs> it's, Officer. It's, it's not vandalism. <laughs> it's part of the plea deal. It was, and we don't talk about that plea deal anymore, Emma. That's my past. And uh, also, the, the soundtrack was fantastic. So, And it's on Dreamcast. How do you, how do you not like a Dreamcast game? Okay. Emma, which one do you want to get jumanji in? See, I'm trying to think of this, like, what will I survive? What am I not going to immediately die in? Yeah. So, like, <laughs> absolutely not. You have to leave. <laughs> what, what do you say? Is that Dark Souls? Oh. <laughs> Hang on. I saw you play Dark Souls one time, though, and you just hit behind the fountain. That and was had other the things. best thing that's ever happened to me because I summoned somebody else that did the fight for me, and I pissed somebody off on Twitch so bad that he ranted to me that I was ruining the game and then unfollowed me and left. Wow. <laughs> Hilarious. Best thing I've ever that's done. That's a lot of steps. Uh, no, I. What are you not gonna die in, like Animal Crossing? Wait, is that? Are you <laughs> no, but you, you have to owe you have to owe that cat guy a lot of money in Animal Crossing. I kill a cat. You're always in debt. Yeah. Death is part of the Tom experience. Why are you just trying to live forever? I'm trying not to die horribly. I don't want to be like eviscerated by aliens. Yeah, there's not too many games where you die of old age. Is there? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's a good point. Good point. Sims. Yeah. No, Sims. Yeah. 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 Uh, I think Pokemon, 100%. Nice. Uh, you're not gonna die in that. Yeah, Pokemon, you live forever. Ash has, like, been 10 for <laughs> you want to be 10 years old? a decade. Hey, I'm a 30-year-old man, yes. I would, <laughs> I would love to go back and be 10. Uh, but, yeah, 100% Pokemon, Pokemon battles. Nobody gets hurt, even though you get, like, caught on fire and stuff. So. Dog fighting. Dog fighting, yeah. Well, yeah. I love how we do kind of give Pokemon a pass. Yeah. I hope never change Pokemon. Uh, Andre, what do you think, man? Where are you going? Where are you getting Jumanji? Uh, I, I, would, I would be in Spider-Man game. 
I don't live in that world. That's fair. You get to be Spider-Man. I get to be Spider-Man because I was gonna say, I was gonna say like <laughs> Vice City or something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a good place to live. I about that. <laughs> I like, yeah, so I, I feel like I feel like Spider-Man is like like the nice happy medium of that. <laughs> like, yeah. like a little bit. You know, are even, you Spider-Man or are you just oh, living would, in New York City? No, I would totally be Spider-Man. Fair enough. Yeah, okay. of course. Yeah, yeah. Right. if you get the option. Be yeah, Spider-Man. I'll be yeah. Spider-Man. Yeah. But, Always be but, yourself, unless yeah. you can be Spider-Man. Yeah, this is true. But on occasion, I'll put on a red wig and do some stealth as Mary Jane. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite part of this game. Yes. You guys see the collect this gas real quick for, for Harry or Osborne. Did you guys see the new movie trailer for Free Free Guy? Yeah. yeah. Oh my yeah. gosh. Yeah. 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 It looks so cool. Um, all right. So this one I pulled good. You got lucky. This is, that is This is an actual real life Batman throwing knife. Oh nice. So what? is it all you, girl? Yeah. Yeah, I'm not gonna throw the match. Towards you. <laughs> <laughs> this is the one where you have to come up and get it. I apologize. You get three. There you go. Thanks. You get three shots on somebody. You get three <laughs> shots. And now you're arrested because you have a weapon. <laughs> <laughs> and you have to leave. <laughs> All right, young sir in the blue sweater. Um, have any of you played Earthbound? The original? Yes. Yes. Like the first one. Right. One, any of them? I played the very first one. When I was, when it first came out, when I was like your age, and uh, what was your favorite like song? Favorite song of Earth? Oh my goodness! Uh, I feel like he's leading him into yeah. something. <laughs> <laughs> you never actually played it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, ooh, that that would be very the uh, the one that's on the menu because that's probably the one I heard the most because I was that young. That was not good at video games. <laughs> <laughs> yep. It's like all right, next here we go. This is as far as we get. Yeah. Yep. I Anybody don't. else? Earthbound? Any of them? No, yeah. no. I did literally the first time I've ever heard of it. Okay. Earthbound. Well, there you go. And the Earth's round. <laughs> <laughs> My name's Ness. <laughs> I am the best. Earthbound. There goes your That's, freestyle. You That's go. not you that was, that was you go. Go. We got the freestyle. So, uh, I hope you have an iPhone, kid, because uh, <laughs> you got an iPhone from 2006, A Relics of Gods, and, oh, Sweet, we, we need to shout out our sponsor, Oblivion Comics and Coffee. Yeah, this is a it's a coffee shop in uh, downtown Sacramento where they have all sorts of like geek flavored drinks and stuff. Well, they don't oh, taste man. like they geeks. taste like geeks. They don't taste like geeks, but no. <laughs> the names are geek. I was uncomfortable the second I said that. There we go. Yeah. But they do trivia nights, all sorts of fun stuff. Actually, uh, on the 16th. You can come uh, hang out. If you like Star Wars, we're going to be doing Star Wars trivia, giving out tickets to see the movie at IMAX. So a little Sweet. shout out for the local fans. Uh, okay, you got to ask. What's up? Me? Yeah, you. Okay. So what video game property would you guys like to see most adapted into a movie? Oh. So that's tough because the more you love the property, the, the more you don't want to protect it. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, let's, can we stipend that like, we get to be the creative lead on them? Sure, sure. That's good. Ooh. Done well. Can we say like a movie done well yes. and just leave it at okay. that? So this is assuming that it's done very well. And it won't and disappoint you. Alright, I got mine. What's yours? I'm gonna say it before you two. Halo. <laughs> uh, I don't uh, have, They've tried many times. It never happened. Yeah, but this it one will be good. Nine. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, that's true. Good yeah. point. Yeah. Very but this good one point. will be good. Because it's the rules of the question. That's you, guys, fair. you guys gotta pay attention to the rules. <laughs> Does it have to be a video game that hasn't already been adapted into a movie? If, if, it's, been, if it's already been adapted but poorly, I'll let it go for a second chance. So then any of them. Resident <laughs> Evil. She'll let it go. She's <laughs> Re Resident Evil. Oh yeah. my gosh. They have just butchered it. And it's so bad that I actually l still like those movies because I'm that much of a Resident <laughs> Evil stan, but my goodness. <laughs> That's it. Sorry you had to go through that, man. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry you had to go through that. Corey. Save me. I want the uh, Overwatch, like, Pixar treatment animated style thing with... Because they've done so good with the characters. The comic books aren't even half bad. But we've gotten to see so little of it through uh, Overwatch 1. So maybe hopefully Overwatch 2 will get to see more of the storylines. But I think that would crush it as, like, an animated film. I feel like what would lend itself really well is Death Stranding. No. Oh my <laughs> god! Wait, fucking kidding! I'm totally kidding. I was gonna freak about. Are for you like sponsored it. by Death Stranding? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm, I'm about to do me when I make YouTube videos. Where I actually like this thing. Oh, you gotta be paid to like. You naturally like something. No, I um, I feel like Assassin's Creed. 
would have been so, so good. Oh, yeah. And it was That's... so not. Yeah. So I would like to see Assassin's Creed done well. Okay. It'd be a solid one. Fair enough. Um, well, Super Mario Brothers did it right, so I don't think oh. <laughs> Come at me, come at me, you come at me. Okay. You know you watched it. Don't even try. Thank you. Uh, but yeah, Legend of Zelda would be really sweet to see as, a, as an epic fantasy. A particular oh. one. Oh. would be cool. I think, I think a, a story that, an original story that is obviously inspired by elements, but I feel like, I feel like that, that just that world, after seeing so many you know, fantasy things, both on, in movies and television now, I feel like there's, there's got to be a way to do it, but it's, I feel it's a tough one. <laughs> but I feel like if it, someone did it right, if we're, if we're assuming that it's going to be, you know, high score, then yeah, I think that would be a really cool world to see. All right. I'm going to go down the line. Who, who should play Link, though? Oh, That's, that's a big role. I got my pick. I'll go first. You just want to say, that you know, somebody Yeah, well, I, I mean, I was just thinking that it, it, Millie Bobby Brown right there. <laughs> Okay. I'm not trolling. That would be perfect. <laughs> okay. I see it. Okay. Right? I don't know enough young actors. <laughs> I thought you were going to say, I don't know enough elves. I don't know enough elves. <laughs> <laughs> sure. I mean, if we, can we de-age Orlando Bloom? Yeah. Again? Yeah. Again? Yeah. That's did you see that Ms. Marvel movie, what they did to Sam Jackson? They can do it to Orlando. Captain Marvel? Whatever. What'd I say? Ms. Marvel. Marvel. Same thing, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Same thing. Loser. Uh, what, no, I want to know because you're a big Sonic guy, and so they reworked the whole Sonic thing. And they made the yeah. new trailer. What was your take on all that? Uh, go to my YouTube channel. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I already know. I'm not the Indians who didn't listen. Go to my YouTube channel. No, <laughs> no, uh, no man, it was it was really awesome. I mean, like that is a very rare thing to see happen. To say like, all right. We're gonna listen to it. I, 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 everyone tried to make this whole conspiracy theory that it was like it was done on purpose. I'm like, no. No. But I'm pretty sure there was probably a guy that was like, here's what Sonic should look like, and you just had that executive like, no, they want him realistic. <laughs> Trust me on this one. Give like, me human teeth. Give me human teeth. Was it Jane Jonah Jameson that was at the company? Uh, he, uh, yeah, yeah. After his after his podcast, after he revealed who Spider-Man was. He decided he to run a movie studio and make a Sonic the Hedgehog movie. There you go. Sonic. Okay. Uh, yeah, so I think that's great. Now, that Sonic got changed. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think anything else. Yeah, no. I don't think the rest of the movie got changed. So we'll see what happens with the rest of the film. But hey, at least Sonic looks better. I don't think it was a conspiracy, but I would not put it past another, maybe smaller company to try something similar. I think yeah. that it uncovered a tactic that nobody even, marketing people didn't even think existed. Yeah. Because now I feel a part of the Sonic movement. And all I did was made a little hashtag, like, change Sonic. And now when it happened, I'm like, they listen to me. Yeah. Hollywood listen to me. Like, I want a docu- I would think a documentary about that movie would yes. be very fascinating. Please. I want yeah. that more than I want the Sonic movie. I, was just, yeah, I would watch <laughs> that before I watch the Sonic movie. Yeah, and I, I've also been championing that I want uh, what we're calling the teeth cut, which is I want, when the, when the DVD comes out, I want the original movie with the original design in it. <laughs> so it's, it's the teeth, release the teeth cut. Release the teeth cut. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, this one uh, you get. Oh, this is a different hat now. Uh, Durango Wildlands, very hat. very cool. Yep. yep, you can tell I went to TwitchCon. Actually, this one might be, fetch you a, a hefty price right here. This is the uh, limited edition uh, San Diego Comic Con Walking Dead thing. I'm not trolling okay. for real. Can we get it from 2017? From 2017, yep. Uh, I fo- hope you have an iPhone because oh you get an God. iPhone thing oh, and much. this pin set from Sci-Fi. You can put a Samsung I, I say, phone in there. I think to be there. fair that, that will work with other phones. It will destroy it's, your phone if it's not an iPhone. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's that high tech. <laughs> There's the Chris, yeah. Thanks for the yeah. good question. All right, uh, let's see. Red shirt. You, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Sega Genesis. Super Nintendo. Well, when I was flat broke, man, I couldn't, couldn't. do this. <laughs> uh-huh. no. Thank you, Notorious C O R Y. No. Uh, I'm gonna go. Oh man, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna go Sega Genesis. I'm gonna be a little controversial. He gets it. Yep. Super Nintendo. Yeah, I'm a Nintendo boy. All right, you're the tiebreaker. Oh, I've never had so much pressure, Sega. Come on, man. Sega graphic. all day, every day. PC Engine. It doesn't matter which one. I, at, at our age, at our age, guys, it didn't matter which one was actually better. It mattered which one you had. Yes. And yeah. so my dad, for whatever reason, you know, decided to get us a Sega, and that's just what we dealt with. Sega. And so now I love that one. I had to quit showing off, Sega rich Genesis. person. <laughs> 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 
Uh, let's see. For that amazing question, we're gonna get. And so you guys uh, know Genesis there's really good does. stuff in here. Oh my god! Those commercials. Pull that thing out again. I'm sorry. It's yeah, not the first time I've heard that. But let me see. Genesis does. Here we go. Hey, that's the OG commercial. Genesis. All right, I grabbed too many things, but you get two from the good bag. Uh, you get a BMO. a BMO wristband and uh, Batman. Batman glasses. Batman glasses. There okay. we go. Yeah. See, yeah. it's getting better. The Batman symbol all over it. I don't know, man. And it matches the shirt. It matches. It all good goes bat. together. Gray sweater. Gray sweater. What's up? Or a jacket. Okay. Jacket. Thank you. Cyberpunk. Dang it, Emma! She took my Suck it. <laughs> All right, I will. Uh, uh, cyberpunk. Yeah. Not allowed. Cyber. cyber what else cyber is coming punk. out? Anybody got, even know what's coming out next year besides Avengers? Cyberpunk? Avengers. I don't know. Nobody cares about that one. That's actually no. Fight oh, me. That one's gonna be. I got to play it. The one it. that has like the cheap knockoff versions of the Avengers on it. Do you really think they were gonna pay for Chris Evans' face? <laughs> <laughs> Did you really go in? You, you, are you fine with Spider-Man game? Yes. That's not. That's not Tom Holland or Tobey Maguire. But he's in the costume and it looks like the canon. Like I think the the one that I, I like to liken this it's to. It's a different suit. Like, okay, what about Ultimate Alliance? You know how it's not, it doesn't like look like the characters? Oh, that looks but... like a mole game? Oh, here we go. See, she thinks it looks like oh. mole, but it, they look like so they're just supposed to. I'm just saying. I don't know. Hey, that game was awesome when it came out. Which one? Uh, uh, Ultimate, Ultimate Alliance. Alliance. Yeah. Oh, yeah. When it first yeah, came still out. still dope. I played it. Yeah, yeah. 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 No, yeah. I'm excited for the Avengers game. And, and, and of course, Battletoads, duh. Oh, Battletoads. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, like, that was that's 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 cool. That was a troll, man. You're taking that way too seriously. <laughs> it's coming out, right? Is it next year? We've been waiting forever. I Ask him about Toe Jam and Earl. Huh? Oh, Toe Jam and Earl? Toe Jam and Earl. Oh, yeah, yeah. That, remake. that remake. I was really excited for that one, too. Unfortunate. All right, so we gotta get them. Cyberpunk. Right. That's the right answer. Cyberpunk's Cyberpunk, obviously the right answer. Yeah. But what about Cyberpunk are you most excited for? Everything. Just be honest and say Keanu Reeves next time. I mean... I'm really excited to drive the Cybertruck. Oh, wait. That's oh, it, is it? that's real life. Oh, yeah. Yep. Tesla. I'm still trying to beat games from like two years ago, so I, I, I'm, <laughs> I'm not even into 2020 yet. <laughs> you get them in the bargain bin when they, when they get there, when you finally oh, get yeah. to them and you're like, ah, it's on sale, perfect. Buy, GameStop, buy two, get one <laughs> used. <laughs> Oh, oh man. Man. Whoa, Ooh. hey, is that the $100 oh, wow. one? I'm about wow. to put this one back. I say, did that oh, fall this out? is a good one. Did that fall into the bag? I think this Ooh. fell out of my personal collection. Uh, a Pulp Fiction action Jules. figure right here. Jules. Wow. The bad M effort. Yeah. Yes. Oh, that's yeah. a pretty dope yep. one. Yep. yep. Oh, yeah. All right, who wants to go next? All right, my man in the back. It would be funny if he takes it. 354 days, I think. Okay. Jeez! Watchdog Legions. Oh, oh yeah! Oh. See, that's not fair. I'm excited for that one. I just, I just kind of wish that after he picked that Pulp Fiction up, he's like, mm, I kind of wanted a water bottle. Do you water bottle Next question. What's up? This question is most brand new. I know it's two years ago, but how'd you like doing Crash Course? Oh, it was very fun. Uh, yeah, I, I hosted a uh, Crash Course is a uh, for those of is it's a uh, show that Johnny Hit Green put together, uh, which is like a series of just educational videos, and they've had all different types of topics, you know, art, history, uh, philosophy, all that kind of stuff. But uh, they wanted to do a special one for games, and so we'd like a special limited series of like thirty some episodes, where it's just the history of gaming, literally from like the beginning of time to present day. So a lot of board game stuff is in there, or, or a lot of elements of like you know, early ways that basically became dice and became whatever the gaming tactics that we see in a lot of games. And of course, we went real deep into the video game eras of time. And then we also did some stuff on tabletop games, game shows, mobile games. So yeah, it was very, it was great. I had to fly up to uh, Indy every, so every few months for like four or five times to film them all, um, which were nicer sometimes than others because because it snows there. <laughs> I forgot about that the first time we went the first time I had to film up there was like in February and I was like, oh snow, I forgot about this. That's why I moved to California. <laughs> but no, it was really great. They're really great and, and I'm glad that people still seem to watch it to this day. So I just very much enjoyed it. So thanks. Thanks for asking. All right man. Well we gotta give them a good gift for that one, right? Yeah. Sorry, I'm go right there. So get ready for your water bottle. <laughs> <laughs> All right. How many tiaras do you have in there? 
too many tiaras. <laughs> where did we get tiaras? And what convention did you go to where we got tiaras? They merged into one, <laughs> one tiara. So you one get, super tiara. Yes, super one tiara. super tiara. And you one get, tiara to rule them all. This is a good one. This is an Ivy Doom Kitty cosplay hey. t-shirt oh. right there. What? Bam. You get the mother look. This is the jackpot, man. All right, two tiaras uh, and an Ivy Doom Kitty t-shirt. That's going to be a new Beck song. We need, <laughs> we need to take, like a a old we need take a picture with you with that shirt after the oh, panel. Awesome. No, with the, oh, well, yeah. I mean, that shirt's cool too, but with the Ivy Doom Kitty. <laughs> and the tiara. <laughs> so we can yeah, send like it to her. Oh, whoa, whoa. I know, goose? I just saw that too. Is that the goose? What just happened? A title goose just We all by. just saw that, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's why I brought it up to make sure I wasn't the right <laughs> Very good. All right, we got, uh, who we got? Oh, right here. Front row again. again. Yep. No, uh, one in front of you. So, favorite boss battle? Hmm. Favorite boss battle. Boss battle. Or full prison game. Fuck <laughs> that game. The whole game is a boss battle. every single boss battle in it. <laughs> Except the one that I was able to cheese by not playing it. It's fair. Ooh, that brings up a good point. Like, cheesing a boss gives you kind of, like, a good sense of accomplishment. So I'm going to say Cromorax from Borderlands because we tried to beat it legitimately so hard and it beat us, like, day in, day out. So we finally found a little cheat where there's one spot on the mountain you can go where he couldn't hit you. And we just sat there for like two and a half hours with our little shitty guns knocking this guy down. And uh, I'm, I'm proud of myself for some reason because of that story. So there we go. That's mine. Come back to me. Come back to me. Wow. Wow. Um, it's random, but I just remember it so vividly when I first time I got to it, which is when you fight Bowser in Super Mario World. Just that, like, you're on top of the castle, you got the storm going, and he comes down in that clown car, and you, like, throw the Mecha Koopas up at him, and yeah, then yeah, yeah. he drops the fire yeah. down, and then he, like, rolls the ball. Like, it's just, it's like the different levels of playing that, just particularly for that to be, like, the first Super Nintendo Mario game, and to just, you know, go from, like, you know, grabbing an axle in one, <laughs> fighting Wart, and then, like, the little Mario 3 thing where he's breaking the bricks, so, like, this almost kind of epic, like, movie-style finale with Bowser. I just, that's something about that I always really enjoyed. Especially when he, like, comes out on the screen. Yeah, <laughs> like, you know, yeah no, they did a great it's job. Just, it's just, I don't know, that's, just, that's, a, that's like a, a, you know, childhood memory video game moment that always sticks with me, so I think that's one of my faves. I got mine. I, I got mine, too. Uh, the first boss battle in Ori in the Blind Forest. Uh, I cannot even remember what it's called anymore, but it's the one where you're having to f race against the like water geyser that's beneath you, and it's so good. The music is amazing. The game mechanics in that game are phenomenal. If you've never played Ori in the Blind Forest, it's one of my favorite games of all time, and if you like puzzles or platformers, go play it. Um, and so the first boss in that one is probably my favorite. I'm going to say uh, Master Hand in the first Super Smash Okay. on the N64. Fair, I think fair. that was the first one. Kind of going nostalgic like Andre. That was the first boss battle that I actually played and beat, and so it definitely like a nostalgic. I actually beat it. <laughs> I didn't know what cheesing was at the time, so I had to, I had to beat it. And um, I'll, I'm gonna say the, not, not, it was difficult the first time, and then after you do kind of know how to cheese or at least how to do it, but uh, the Tyrant from the first Resident Evil, uh, that one, I, I was I was just young enough to start to understand like strategy in video games and not just button mashing all the time or not how to just input fatalities on Mortal Kombat. So that one was um yeah well, that one was was really really fun. And then after you know how to do it, so you just like night every after you beat the first time, then everything else is like a speed run, right? So. That's right. All right, we got I think time for one more. Right, we'll go uh, blue sweater because he's been super patient and already got the worst gifts of the day. So <laughs> he definitely gets one more shot. They've been doing this too much, but all things considered. Or even like a sequel to a game. Legend never... of Ligaya. That's the one I want remade because he's like, I don't know. It's, it's basically like off-brand Final Fantasy. Like back in the day for kids who didn't have Final Fantasy and your aunt like got you the wrong one. Basically, <laughs> you had Legend of Ligaya and uh, it was on like the demo disc I had and I beat the demo disc so many times. And then uh, I was, all right, we got it finally after I begged for it. And then that was my first experience with an RPG. Before that, it was all just like sports games or like platformers. That was the first one where I was like reading, comprehending, doing all kinds of cool stuff. So that was definitely mine. Up until this year, my answer would have been Spyro. 
I've always wanted a Spyro remaster, and then they did it, and it's like one of the best remasters they've ever made. You got your wish. So I don't even know what it is anymore. I got what I wanted. You said sequel, right? Sequel? It can be a sequel. It can be a sequel? sequel. Alright, I'm gonna say Spider Man PS4 sequel. Well, oh, I hope that comes that. true. We're getting that. Yeah. Well, there we go. So my wish is oh, true. you're lame. Wow. <laughs> um, after seeing how they, re how they remade them in Smash Brothers, it would seem like a waste to not use that to make a band that is a remake. Hey! Oh, yes, like, just yeah. with that design would be really cool. And, you know, put them on both consoles. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> it just needs to happen. Like, I just, like, I, 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 I like, the fact that when I watched it, I, I watched that whole presentation when Sakurai, like, showed it off, and, like, he was just so detailed, like, we did all this stuff in the background that we didn't have to do. We got, we got, uh, what's her face, walking around in the background. I was like, you did this on purpose. Like, this is, you <laughs> tried something here. So, yeah, I think that would be cool to just use that design and remake the, the two things. Um, I would go for a double dragon. Uh, remake. I'm a big fan of beat em ups, obviously. I talked about uh, Streets of Rage earlier. So, yeah, if I could get a Double Dragon sequel, I'd be all about it. Uh, watch the movie from the 90s if you haven't. <laughs> Mark the Caskis is in it. How don't. bad could they it didn't be? Know back then. You can't blame them. <laughs> yep. And nowadays, they had it. You, you, Assassin's Creed, you get mad about because they, they, they should have known better. But yeah. you can't blame Double Dragon and Smart Brothers. They had no idea. No one else was doing that. And how do you not love John Leguizamo? Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> yeah. The pest. The pest. He's the pest. Yeah. What's I the did it, Double it, it, Dragon? It. We don't know, but Alyssa Milano's free to do it. I'm, like, oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm in. I'm in. That's what happens. That's how it works. Don't be upset. Also, uh, Rescue Rangers. They should do that like how they did that. Ooh, Ooh, wow. Yeah. And put the freaking Disney Afternoon Collection on Switch. I don't understand how it... Why is it not on Switch? <laughs> no, no. Mega Man sense. is. Resident Evil right. is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Every other Capcom is, but the Disney Afternoon Collection. It makes no sense. Sorry, I just wanted to put that out there. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> he needed since, a platform to get that. Yeah. Since that was the last I one. He was the last one, and... Uh, can't can't send him home without something cool. This is an ant lion microphone. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice. That's, that this is what it. he was waiting for. That was <laughs> <worth> it. <laughs> Thank you to Ant Lion for hooking us up with the microphone. Uh, basically, what they do is you take that microphone, hook it onto whatever headset you already have, and you sound like a professional. So you can start your own podcast. Nice. Put hey. us out of business. Um, <laughs> so before we go. You can what? Oh! <laughs> what is that? That's what they say to you get that fixer deal. <laughs> <laughs> that's, 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 <laughs> that's what Darth Vader said to Sidious, too. <laughs> uh, all right, guys, thank you so much for uh, hanging out with us for this hour. You guys can check out our podcast on anywhere you can find podcasts iTunes, Spotify. Pandora Radio, we're there too. iHeart, everywhere you can find podcasts, video game, bang. If you can, subscribe, rate it five stars. And then, Andre, where can people go meet you and uh, figure out all your content? YouTube.com slash Black Nerd Comedy, also Twitch.tv slash Black Nerd Comedy, or Twitter and Instagram at Black Nerd. That's it, everybody. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Thank you.